Good morning everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video. For any of you guys that are new here, my name is Levi. It is very, very beautiful this morning as you can tell. We're not doing a weather forecast, we're doing a YouTube video, so. But it is very beautiful out right now. Um, but we're about to hit a chest session. Like I said in my previous video, I switched up my whole split and everything, so now we're doing chest and traps today. One of my favorite days because it's fast. I like being at the gym, but sometimes like I can be here a little too long. So we're gonna be doing chest day. We're also a week out from my next Spartan race. We're doing a Spartan sprint. So we've been preparing for that. It's been, it's been tough for preparing for this one, believe it or not, just because this one is more focused on I would say preparing more so for uh, speed and instead of going for I would say long distance it's a little harder for speed because just with the distance I had to I would say prepare myself more so to be able to run those long distances so that's where we're at today with that so found our pre-workout got some creatine some pump formula in for today now we're going to annihilate our chest Something I've been doing lately after every single chest day is 100 push ups. Uh, it's just part of my routine. I don't necessarily know why I did it. My chest routine, I don't do on every single day that I have of like working out or anything. Like I know Nick Fair does like his 100 push ups after every workout or every day or something like that. I'm just doing 100 push ups just because part of my program. I just say it's hard as the frick to do. I take like five breaks in between. Hundred push-ups took me about like four minutes in total. It just beats my ass. I don't know why. Today I was in a lot more pain. I think it's because I've been kind of inconsistent in my night stretching. I have to actually use both hands right now to record. I'm in pain. I'm just gonna finish off with some trap work this morning. We weighed in at 176 pounds, no food in my system, so we're doing good, feeling strong, feeling good overall with my body. So so we're at, like I said, we're gonna finish off some shrugs. You guys don't wanna see that though, cause you wanna see what it looks like when I'm constipated. Even though I've never been constipated. Uh, I'm out, man. Just got really weird. and I are on our way to the hump tulips and we're looking for bobbers right now at freaking Cabela's and they got the setup damn near all the way over here. Where are the bobbers at? Over here. Oh, and they're all the way damn near over here. Grab a couple things. We're going salmon fishing for kings. Is there anything else? Kings. Coho. 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 All right, dope. Kings. Coho. Take them off the tunas along with you. Take it. <laughs> All right, so we just got done at Cabela's. We got everything we need. I was surprised they had eggs. We were like looking all online for eggs and they had like a crap ton. It's time to go to the Hump Tulips for camping overnight. And then in the morning, we're slaying. Laying the pipe down. Not really, that'd be weird. It's fish.
probably not ready for me to kickstart the vlog back off in the car when it's like nighttime. It's what, 8.16, 8.17 now. Uh, your boy did not do too good today. I lost one on Jordan's pole, unfortunately. Jordan caught one, he took, caught that 10 pound king you guys saw. Pretty cool, it was wild. Um, it was crazy, like I've never seen that many fish in one day jump all over the river. Like fish were jumping left and right. Like it was so odd how many fish there were and just nothing was biting. It was the weirdest thing I'd ever seen. Jordan was saying the same thing, it was just odd. Every other fisherman there was saying it was weird. It's weird because I think like these last couple days since they've been open, everyone's pretty much like limited. So it's been odd to just go and then not have anything. I, it's just, Jordan and I just have that kind of luck. Like when we went to Alaska, the river literally shut down the day we got there for salmon fishing, even though like we did go out in the bay and catch like a lot of salmon that day still like just our luck it is what it is we're gonna head home now we got like a two hour ride home yeah, but hey at least we didn't get completely skunks jordan you got anything to say great day yeah really though nah could have been better <laughs> yeah Trip. Still mad that I got skunked. We are hitting some buys and tries today. It's a Saturday. I'm supposed to be having legs today, but yesterday didn't work out, so Woo! I'm doing buys and tries today. Feeling pretty good. A little tired for sure. Definitely lacking on sleep considering I slept in my car one night while we were there. Fortunately, there was no camping spots left. Um, that's what it is though. Finishing off with triceps right now. I am hitting some of these the tricep push down like leveraging machine. The workout plan I've been doing a little bit of progressive vocal load just to add some strength to them. I just feel like they've been at like the same strength spot for too long now, so yeah, that's what we're doing. I don't know if you guys saw, I'm gonna say this before, I'm just gonna say what I'm about to say. But Young LA has got this new shirt in. I don't even know if this video will drop before the clothing drop, but yeah, there's that, it's pretty sick. I think it's cool, it's like reversible so you can wear it like inside out and stuff. Thought that was pretty dope. And so I don't know if I mentioned, I think I did in a previous video and it had to do with the post I made on Instagram that I have to um, take a few steps back and essentially what it is is I have to go back on my SSRI or my antidepressant and for those who don't know, uh, maybe you're new here, I'm not depressed, I'm not like a depressed individual. I just have an anxiety disorder and so medication really helps to, I would say, make me feel at peace and it honestly sucks. Like sure, that medication's great. Like. That medication to me is almost like a cheat code because it doesn't distract me from every, anything and I'm so productive on that medication. Like if you guys are wondering how I was able to get three videos out a week, like it was because of that medication. I mean, obviously like I put in the work and did it, but that medication was able to, I would say, keep me so in line and keep me from being super distracted that I was able to do all of the things I feel like I did this summer. So. That was great and it just sucks because I have to go back on it. If you guys are wondering why I have to go back on it, it's because this brain of mine just can't calm down. And as you can see, I'm starting to sweat bullets. It's super hot out. I don't know if you guys can see behind me, it's kind of hazy, but there's like a fire in Washington, which is not um, uncommon around this time of year because Washington state loves to catch a fire along with Oregon and California. Um, but yeah, back to everything that I was trying to say is like, you know, I, I, a main reason I'm bringing this up is just because I've noticed a decline in my mental health and it's not like for you guys to feel bad for me. It's to really explain like why there might be inconsistency on like my socials and stuff. It's just whenever I start to kind of decline mentally, I start to decline everywhere else. And it's not like 
I can't use willpower to do it. It's just, it, it's so hard to explain because you might be like, oh, well, don't you, like I naturally put a lot of pressure on myself to perform, but when I get so distracted. Does that make sense? Like my mental health distracts me from doing things. It's not like I lose motivation because like I just do. It's just my mental health distracts me and then that makes me unmotivated. And it's just a very, I would say unhealthy circuitry that I'm in. So I'm sharing that just because I feel like sometimes I can kind of see them all over the place. Like I might be inconsistent in posting and whatnot. I mean, I'm not super stressed about that. Like I know I'm human and I can only take so much. And where I'm at, we're one week out from a race too. Um, I mean, the best thing about the medication is I can, you know, be on track with everything, not worry. My sleep also improves because I'm not like grinding my teeth. That was a huge thing I noticed when I was coming off my medication. I could tell I was more stressed throughout the day because I was grinding my teeth at night. Do it for today's YouTube video. Um, I hope you guys like this video. Maybe not the end so much. It's a little sad and stuff, but hey, we're all human. I'm going to get past this. Just the thing I have to live with. Got to rely on God and his control. If any of you guys are new here, do not forget to press that subscribe button because you guys know we'll be back. And as always, die trying to do it up. The sky's the limit. And I'll see you guys in the next one.